Welcome to the Kid Nation Extra Friday edition. Howdy, howdy. I was literally like, what's happening right now? Yeah. Where am I? We're still running on fumes this morning. At least half the show is. Yeah. And half the show got a decent amount of sleep, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, Kelly's sickly. Yeah, except Kelly. She was coughing a little bit. I have a bit of a cold. Yeah, your oh. voice never really fully came back this morning, huh? She's sick. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's got that road trip, so she's got to get it going. Gotta you don't feel bad, going. though? I feel fine. It's just when your voice is out and you're having to push so much air, it's just exhausting. Would uh, Alan it's just exhausting. Would Alan understand if you decided to maybe stay home? To... No, I'm not staying home. You're going. I mean, if I was really sick, he would understand. Yeah. yeah. But, right. yeah. Right. You're I'm on in... vocal rest, though, and he likes to talk while you're on the road. I've been sucking these Vapo Cools. They really do help. Do they taste good? They taste like menthol, I guess, you know. Did you it's put not the, the cherry? You put the Vicks in your no, under your nose no, last night. No, because this is this is That'll what I stuck it. on. Yeah, and it's got mm-hmm. the vape, the Vicks vapo stuff in. Oh, it. Oh, got it. Who was it that had the Vicks uh, today that we learned about? The Victoria. Victoria's Secret. Well, Victoria's Secret. The guy that started Victoria's Secret. <laughs> His name's Ray. Ran it for like Roy. five years. Roy. Sold it, or a little less than sold it for a million dollars to the woman who owned the Limited at the time, and now it's obviously a billion dollar company. Yeah. You know what? There was more to that story. I read about him because you get stuck on someone's Wikipedia page. It said that he, you know, took that money. He went on to invest like half of that million in a high-end children's toy store in San Francisco, and it went bankrupt. Oh, oh wow. no. So he lost See, it. See, but that's an entrepreneur spirit. It yeah. is. Keep you going. fail. You hit, you then miss. you do another business. Yeah, it's for true. sure. Some people oh, are married so to hard. entrepreneurs, and they live in mansions. And some people some are married people. to entrepreneurs, and they're like, we ain't got rent this month, yeah, baby. Yeah, scraping every time. But one day. That's it. One day it's going to hit. hold on for that yeah. hit. I'm too scared, I think, to be an entrepreneur. It does it's all take a guessing some, game, really. Yeah. Okay. I was starting to. I was so scared. I would have nights when I started borrowing money from people. I'm like, I would wake up at midnight and be like, what am I doing? Right. I mean, Al, I'm sure you did. I'm like, yeah, what am I sure. doing? And everyone tells you that started businesses, they go, everyone does this. You wake up in the middle of the night freaked. And then you have days that you're like, this is so cool. Like, I can watch people ordering my product. And, yeah. But man. Ooh, There's going to be peaks and valleys. And... Some days I don't know if I'm cut out for it. Yeah. yeah. And I think every entrepreneur it's has said that. easy to say when you end up selling a company for a lot of money, but... Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, just like we have one percenters, you know, among us, there's one percenters in entrepreneurs, too. Like, it seems like 99% of entrepreneurs are just... Regular people. Bub- bu- <laughs> yeah, just bubbling, just trying to, you know, survive. And then there's a 1% of entrepreneurs that just make it big. Yeah, it huge. like reinvigorated me in my life, though. I seem a lot happier, and I know it's because I started a business. It was cool. Yeah, because that's your new thing. That's your baby right there. It's my yeah. baby, and it like makes me want to live. You know, yeah. it makes me want to do stuff. Yeah, something to look forward to when you go home. Right after the show. Yeah. I go home and I coach flag football. Hey, you got your friend. <laughs> hey, that's your business. That's your baby. That's your baby. You know what I'm saying? And if we did win this week, we yeah. yeah. So do you have a game tomorrow? Yeah, we got playoffs. And uh, so I'm thinking. And I don't I know if this good luck, but I don't know which direction I mean that in. I don't know if this is the competitive, uh, <coughs> the competitor in me, or me wanting to save and spare the kids' feelings. But we're gonna play a team that I know is gonna destroy us. <laughs> well, that's what you thought the last game. Yeah, I mean, we did beat a team that be- beat us before, but this team that we beat didn't beat us by as much as this other team we're gonna play. You never know. Well, they could have an off day any given they, Sunday, dude. Exactly. Or Friday or Saturday. So I was talking to my wife, and I'm like, what if? Because when I got home, my son goes, uh, that was a, that was fun. I felt cool to win again because he, he hadn't won since the last team he was on. And I said, right, buddy, that was cool. I said, and then on, on Saturday, if you guys win, you get to go to the championship game. And he looked at me and he goes, no, we just won the championship. In his so, mind, he had. So they all thought they won the championship. So if we forfeit this next game, these kids will go into the offseason thinking they won. <laughs> and they'll have that mentality. You're not going to forfeit. I'm not, but I definitely thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, you don't want to go out on a lose. I just don't want them to a get loss. I don't want them to get destroyed the way they did by this team 2 weeks you know, ago. Kids don't take it as they seriously as their back. parents yeah. do. Yeah, they bounce back yeah. too. They'll be fine. And my son was so I, I felt like he was depressed after that whooping. And then after that win, he's so high I don't want to bring them back down to earth. Well, and be like, that's part of life. But that's life. Yeah. I guess, yeah, that's a lesson we all need to learn, I guess. Yeah, it is. And you also need to learn when to return things because I bought my wife that Roomba. Yeah. Okay. And she and, uh, didn't it, like it. And I, I mean, planned ahead, right? So I planned because she talked about it. I had it in my little notes. I went and bought it. I had it ready to go. And then uh, she was contemplating whether or not to keep it. Uh huh. And she finally decided to return it. Because she didn't like it. I thought she. It's not that she didn't like it. She just said she enjoys she, vacuuming, I guess. 
therapeutic. Okay. It's therapeutic to her. She loves a clean house, and I guess to her, cleaning is a good time. Yeah. And so she went to return it, and unfortunately, the return had expired. There's a certain date, huh? Yeah. So I guess some stores have different policies. So she got a gift certificate to uh, Best Buy. Which is not a store she frequents as much as I do because yeah. I like electronics. Well, she yeah. can use it to buy your Christmas. So now she, yeah, but now she doesn't have a present. <laughs> so I have to buy her something new. <laughs> well, um, hey, does, does yeah. she watch these? Huh? Will she watch this? Sometimes. Okay, because we need to talk about what we started talking about at dinner last night. Yeah, we got a plan. Jen's so going to help me. Birthday or Christmas? Well, Christmas. Funny, he's actually been really good. With planning, like what he said, taking notes throughout the year about things she wants, but then she continues to bring up what she wants, you know, as most girls do. Like, you have to overdrop the hand. And oh, I'm what she really, like, really wants, yeah. I'm like, stop. stop. We got it. She was doing it at dinner last night. I'm like, oh. well, it's not special if you keep talking and about then, it. And then, even though I don't get it, but it makes JC like, I don't even want to get it if she keeps saying she wants it. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what she wants. Right. I drop the hint and I say it pretty emphatically uh -huh. to let my husband hopefully it's Catch registering and he's pretty good about it. Right. Because I like to catch, I like to catch those like three or four months out, and I know we're not close to that anymore, but I like to catch no, get back then get so she forgets about it and when it's Christmas, then it's, it's like a big deal because you caught it three months yeah. ago. But I'll tell you what my husband's not a fan of. What? Um, I'm I'm like, if we need something for the house, yeah. I'll say, let's just make that our Christmas gift to each other. I like that. No. What? He doesn't like that. Like, I want to get the ring doorbell as, a, like, as a family gift. He's like, that's a necessity. Gift that. should be something else. And I'm like, if we need something for the house and it's maybe a thousand dollars or whatever, let's just make it a yeah, wash. Together, yeah, yeah, right. Nope. He wants to open presents. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, we do ours. You know, I'll get my wife a present and the kids a present, but we do a family present for the house. I kind of get that with Alan, where Alan's coming from because, as adults, typically, and it's sad, but we don't have quite as many things to be excited about. Yeah. You know, for the most part, right? There's still a few things we get excited about, but. You really look forward to looking forward to something. So I yeah. get it. Now I look forward to mostly my kids opening up their presents. Yeah. I don't really mind not getting them. I, I, yeah. You know, it kind of hurts a little bit, but I'd rather just see them go explode yeah. with excitement. We had a problem last year. I don't know how we're going to fix it this year. It was the gluttony of Christmas, and it too took much. a lot of joy out of it for me, and I think the kids too because it was just so much. So we were both Christmas. divorced, so, and, you know, my husband was married before, so was I. So now... The kids have two sets of grandparents on both sides of the family. So now there's yeah. four sets of grandparents. There are in-laws. So you do your family, and then you have to go to both you, four Christmases, five Christmases. It got to the point. It's just like, what, what did I get? You don't know what to tell people to buy the kids anymore. They get repeat presents it's like probably. They don't need any of this stuff. And seriously, by about that fifth Christmas celebration, yeah. it was a beating for everybody. <laughs> Come on, let's go get in the car. We got to go, go get to our Grandma presents. Number seven. Yeah, you house. said the kids are like, uh, uh, they're over present. it. They're over opening presents. Yeah, yeah. It's I, like, I, I what are we? That. What are we gonna do? Yeah. It was so obnoxious last year that it made me feel dirty. Afterwards. Yeah. I feel you. And so it's like, how? I don't know how we're gonna address it this year because this year we have, you know, Santa's coming to our house. So we've got that dynamic this year that we didn't have last year. I don't. Plus know all the other parties. We did the pulling names thing. You yeah. know, I mean, I had one one side of my dad's family was so large and so many cousins that, right. yeah, that they didn't want, like, every aunt and uncle to have to get every kid. And the grandparents, had, the grandparents would always get everyone something. But, yeah, they would just pull names. So we had, you know, That's a good. set of kids. And then another family had a, you know, different set of kids. Right. It, it worked well. It'll be We're all right. We're going to have to do something. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah. It was our first year last year. You welcome to ideas her. from Kid Nation, maybe? Sure. All right. So bring them uh you know, you have those ideas. Maybe you have a big family like Kelly does. Let her know what you guys do to maybe not have a gluttony well, divorce, of gifts. It's the divorce situation. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 More the, family. For everybody Christmases. wants to, yeah. Everybody wants to, everybody wants the joy of seeing your grandkid open their present. Yeah. Just tell everybody to get a present for the grandchild that they like the most. I there you like go. That's kind of the <laughs> bonus part of divorce. There has to be a good side for the kids, and yeah. that's it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like you get a lot of well, love, saying, but you want to scale it back. Even the kids forget over it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe scale it back a little bit. But yeah, send uh, Kelly your ideas. She's gonna have a good uh, road trip with her husband this weekend, watching yep. some football. Big out Max. You get into anything? Do some karaoke. I might have a little date brewing. There you, you know, go. I'll let you know. I'll let you know uh, Monday. Let me know how That's that goes, buddy. Brewing. 
Jenna's doing a fun run tomorrow, which is going to be fun. She's going to be emceeing. You know what? I forgot to tell y'all. I'm going to, I got invited to some party at some fancy house uh -huh. nice. on Saturday night uh -huh. uh, with Kirk Franklin Whoa. and the musical guest. I hope I'm allowed to say all this. Is Tori Kelly? Whoa! It's from five to seven, yeah. so it's like older, fancy people, and I don't know. And it says casual chic. I don't know what to wear. I guess I'll just wear a sweater dress or something. But I forgot to tell you all that. Yeah. So I'm going. Let us know how that goes on Monday. You know, if it's some small, intimate party and Tori Kelly's performing, yeah, I don't know. You so know, how you, you walk into a party with Kirk Franklin there. How? Stomp! I, stomp it! <laughs> really? What do I do? Yeah, I don't stomp. really know much about him, but I know y'all know him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Make sure you join us next week. We got a high low coming back. Your chance to win up to fifteen hundred dollars. We're going to have the cast of Fantastic Beasts on the show on Tuesday. Am I missing anything else? Um, Probably. Uh, but the kids' oh, kids' yeah, trip. Oh, really yeah. A little Disney. trip to yeah. Disney World. Just a little thing we do is flying 58 kids and their families to Disney World for our kids' kids' trip. So make sure you join us next week, Kid Nation. Have an awesome weekend.